Hi guys, I'm Max Six, and we are back in Culver City at Six Max Gym. My good buddy CSEN. Thanks for having us again, man. Absolutely, welcome back. Welcome back. What is going on today? Today we have episode two of Training with the Legends, and who do we have today, man? We have the Mr. Olympia uh, Samir Benut, and he's going to teach us how it's done his way. The Lion of Lebanon, you guys. So we're very fortunate to have Sia organizing all those Training with Legends seminars. So today, uh, Samir is going to talk to us about a little bit about the old days and you know his theory on training arms because he had a great set of arms. And uh, you know, we're, it's going to be a treat. So thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming back, and looking forward to this. Thank you. Yeah. We have Mr. Samir now, so. Let's get oh. it on, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> You're on camera, Mr. Olympia. Olympia. <laughs> on the record, so we have to be careful now. We have to be really... <laughs> <laughs> it's very good to have you today, Thank sir. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much good for coming. to see you guys. Yeah, absolutely. We're all excited. It's how, in my opinion, better. I'm like, okay. And that's Sean. Mo? Yes, sir. Sean? No, I'm Mo. 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 Mr. Olympia in the house. Like the back. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's right. <coughs> That's to me, I mean, everybody talk about having, a, you know, six pack. And that smart to say I choose the right name. Of it. <laughs> and we were talking about how bodybuilding really got kind of messy now. Because, you know, people want to run before they can walk. And that's the wrong thing to do. You gotta take your time. Uh, Mr. Imagine Samir, off season wise, how how heavy did you guys get from uh, back in the day? So. You know, I recall when I came to California. I'm lucky enough to meet a man by the name Bill Pearl. He's one of the greatest. You yeah. know Bill Pearl. Yes. Yeah. And Bill Pearl, he saw the potential and he goes, "This is son. I want to tell you something. Your genetic is amazing, but." Listen to me. Listen to your body. Then is you gotta listen to your body, okay? You cannot abuse your body. I mean, this is actually supposed to be sport of health. It is, but nowadays the modern school they don't give a crap about that part. They don't. I mean, they want to be Mr. Olympia in about two years. And I'm not gonna name some of the guys who are really big now, but you know what? Say and I were talking about that earlier, yesterday actually, we talked a little bit, that you have big boys, huge and pretty good body, but the muscle is full, but there's no detail, no, you know. Density. If you don't have detail, and the detail comes from a longer duration of a workout, not taking insulin to fill up the muscle quick, but you gotta go, more repetitive, repetitive intensity, intensity and over the year, you develop this gnarly looking muscle. You know, we all know, okay, well, insulin works. Guys work, they make you big. But is that good? In my opinion, first of all, it's not healthy. We don't need it. You know what I mean? I might have, have attempted it, let's say, back in the day, they tell me to do it, maybe I attempt, but once I know that this is doing me wrong, then they stop. You know, stop it. It's like a little kid, you know, he put his hand in electric outlet to get shot, then he won't touch it. <laughs> so these guys are not learning. You know, big don't mean anything. I hate to compare it. It's like someone was have a big dick but doesn't get hard. <laughs> don't mean shit. It's, it's no good. And you, you know, I have my way of putting things together. Everyone so, understood that one. <laughs> you know, of course, I don't want it to be small and hard, but at least, you know, pleasing. The word is pleasing. Right? So people always seem to forget that the thing that they can't replace is time. Time is needed. Time. It yeah. takes time. If you want to go to New York, you know, it's going to take you four and a half hours flight. You want to get there in, to New York, if you want to use a space shuttle, good luck. You're not going to get that. But if you try to go in one hour, which is nice, safely, would be nice. But it's not safe unless, you know. So basically, you need to take your time, build it nicely, you know, and... You know, that's why they have a speed limit, because when you go 110 miles an hour, 120, you might crash and then you'll die. So, there is, I don't know why, I was, I was, I was in the training split when you were back in the days, how? 
I tried I tried different things. You know, I trained the muscle twice a week. Uh, one time I did body part three times a week. Oh wow! But the thing is, the body adapts. If you do it twice, the body adapts. You do it three times, the body always does anything to protect you. But really, in all honesty, I found out that twice a week for body part is the limit. You should not do more. And if you want to do it nowadays, they do it once a week. But it takes the muscle about 72 hours to recuperate, really. That if you feed it enough and you have a good job where you have plenty of rest and you're eating right, the recovery is very because you know, you eat, you give the body what it needs, and it recovers faster. You train hard and you stay up till 3 in the morning, you eat on the run and you don't get that rest, the body's not recovered, the muscle's not going to get that hard. So, you know, it's all, it's a combination of things and we know do you think that frequency of workout <coughs> applies for bodybuilding and for strength as well same uh you yeah, actually to get stronger you don't want to do more either i mean you want to come to uh, try you know you okay i was a uh, olympic lifter when i got started okay and now i even sat down with power lifter you know and to get that extra strength you got to build muscle fiber and you actually uh, you know, I'm not really an expert on in that part part of it, but I notice that when I'm eating and growing in the off season, my strength goes way better. But when you start dieting and limit your caloric, somehow you won't you won't be as explosive yeah. unless I mean you, we could you could be, but mm. anyhow. Well, a lot of people were kind of dip, more like deprivation diet, and that's actually wrong, you know. So, uh, for, for increasing strength, I still think if you train the muscle twice a week would be plenty, you know, it would be just fine. Right? So, what do you think? Yeah, that, that makes sense. I think twice a week is, uh, I've done it, I've tried different stuff too. I think twice a week is the maximum. Yeah. So, yeah. come down to recovery, I guess. If you're not recovering, you back down. If you're recovering, you keep going with it. And, and your age matters. There's so many factors that involve so. Definitely. And, and then the body always kind of uh, adapt. Yeah. Let's say I at one time I dieted at under 2,000 calories. And other time I dieted on 4,000, 4,500. So the body adapts. And so you were cutting at 4,500. Well, I started with that, you know, but I noticed my body strive to get better when I'm eating more. See, this is the key for you guys. I'm going to tell you the strategy to really uh, burn fat faster. You want to make sure your body is more. It's, it's like the more you have leaner mass the yep. faster your metabolic rate. So anytime you start losing muscle, everything will slow down. And, and so that's what we're doing now. They make you eat more frequent meal. Back in the days, we ate like four meals. Really? Yeah, four meals. That's it. But when I dieted for the 82 Olympia, and I was in my best condition, one of my best conditions ever, I was eating kind of like five meals barely. I'm not a big eater, but again, the body adapts. So, if you're heavy and you want to lose weight, I suggest you go five, six meals. And so keep your insulin levels stable and be more in an anabolic drive. Build muscle. The key is to go inside out. You agree? Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, so I mean, one more question. Yeah. Uh, I noticed you take me to the Japanese store once and <laughs> show me all kind of carbs. So when I diet myself, I usually restrict my carb, you know, big time. So I go down probably sometimes even 50 gram, 25 gram of carbs, you know, a day. So, but the way I was talking to you, you were talking, you know, the amount of carbs you were talking about, it was like... Astronomical. Like, yeah, yeah, compared to what I was doing. Well, again, I, I tried every, everything, yeah. you know. I died it. see, listen, live and learn. And, you know, I like to share my experience. So, at one time, I have trained with Serge Nupre. You know, Serge is yeah. one of all yeah. time great bodybuilders who is in favor of high carb, actually higher fat. I mean, he's high protein, higher fat, <laughs> low, low carb. Low, I mean, extremely low. I mean, that works too. 
but no, you see, when you go on low, low carb, you got to make sure you increase that fat intake. I mean, when I tell you a guy like you should eat about 150 grams of fat a day, trust me, you got to have at least that. Because, okay, 100 grams of fat is 900 calories. A guy like you should be eating, I would say, no less than, how much you weigh? 240, 45. 245? Oh, you, you got to eat no less than like close to 4,000 calories with your diet. How many calories do you eat? Last week, <laughs> I just cut two pounds, <laughs> so I'm getting made fun of. So well, man, it, not it, enough. Another <laughs> thing is don't lose too fast. Yeah. That's not a good thing. To yeah, lose I lost 10 fat. pounds in like uh, two weeks. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone tells them. But <laughs> you know, I, I, like I was helping a guy. I tell him to focus. When he focuses, he's good. But I'll tell him to go this way, and then all of a sudden he wants to Google stuff. <laughs> and he Google, and he see like, oh, everybody's doing look up. I said, listen, keto, keto. You gotta follow what I'm telling you, because there's million way to go to downtown LA. This way, this way, right. this way. <laughs> right. There's million way, but now we're taking one way and stick with it. Right. And if there's a lot of traffic, then we'll make the changes. The guy, he just keep reading. I said, listen, dude, please. So he went his own way. At first, I put on him a lot of mass quality, fairly good quality mass. So we started to diet. And he was so happy to start losing quick because his metabolism went up. Anyhow, so yeah. I need to answer your question yeah, completely. But I'm like, absolutely no understanding. <laughs> so the guy started losing fat too quick and losing weight too quick. Oh, he's happy. I said, no, 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 please. I don't want you to lose this fat. But I'm happy. I said, listen, excuse me. I said, what the fuck? You want to work with me? Don't fucking listen to me. Because you're going to fuck up. No, no, I'm like. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, nothing happened. So I told you, like Scarface said, you dumb fuck. <laughs> you have to feed the muscle sufficient amount of calories. You feed the body, the body works for you. If you don't give the body what it needs, the body senses deprivation and it will slow down. Your metabolic rate will slow down. I don't care if it's high fat, high protein, or high carb, you know, limited caloric. You have to make sure you give the body what it needs. As simple as that. Because when your car run out of gas, it stops. Yeah. But you're not gonna sense that on your body. What it stops is your T324 go way down your metabolic rate will slow down. So don't be afraid of eating. But it's what you eat is what matters. And really, it's, sometimes I have to say, it's not all about a lot of focusing on the calorie, it's the type of food. Where are you coming from? Yeah. You're training hard, you're kicking ass in the gym, and you're eating the right food. You cannot get fat. Unless you live in the Hagen Dazs factory, you get fat. <laughs> no, really. But if you focus on your meal, on your training, the body will work. And a lot of people, they lose focus. Oh, you know, focus. Eat, feed your body, the right food. We can talk about that, but I mean, we're, we're going to talk about training first. Yeah. And so, you know, it's really not a rocket science, but a lot of confusion out there. I see kids right now making themselves like real expert. You only become expert when you do the damn thing for 40 years. Okay, I've been doing this for over 40 years. You know what? I would still respect listening to Bill Pearl, Frank Zayn. Why? Because they've been doing it for 55 years. So they have experience. more experience because experience really counts. You know. You go to the gym, you train, you listen to your body, you feed your body, you eat the right food, and you add to do this right, muscle will grow, the fat will melt. Unless you have health issue, most most of us young guys, I can tell you guys are healthy, but feed your muscle, watch the fat disappear. I'm telling you, feed your muscle. And I guarantee you, how many meals do you eat? Six. See? And you eat plenty of food. Oh yeah. Okay. I bet let him eat four and you see that? That quality is not as good. I'm serious. And I, think I have type, to admit, huh? The type of training I think you guys did, there was a, uh, I mean, I trained with Tom, but yourself, 
and you guys keep going, you don't care about the sets, you're counting reps, and so you're just going till the muscle is dead. I, so basically it's type of a cardio as well. That's what I noticed is you're sweating so much, you don't need the cardio later on after that, to be honest. You just go home and eat. That's the, well, you got to train and reach the maximum pump. Maximum. You have to really, you know, go into a newer dimension by forcing the muscle to work sometime. That additional force reps activate more deeper fiber and that's what stimulate growth. In, in those guys, you see them in the gym, they go like that. Like one of the fat guys pumping iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this with a dumbbell. Nothing. There's less like shooting blank. You gotta have feeling and desire and get the muscle to work. Feel that deep muscle fiber activated. And then eat, that's what happens. It's really, yeah, it's going by feeling. Like what is your opinion about cardio? Uh, uh, these days, of course, it's very popular to do cardio. Uh, I mean, cardio is healthy. It depends. I mean, I don't believe in the two hours, in one hour cardio. I don't believe it's a little bit too. Too long. How long did you do back in the day? Huh? How long? How much cardio did you do back in the day? None. I have to be honest <laughs> with you. For the '83 Olympia, I did this much cardio. Watch. <laughs> Zero. Wow. You know, but it doesn't mean everybody should do that. Hold on. The hell, eggs on his bike everywhere. All right. California for you. Wow, zero cardio for 83. I didn't do, uh, you know, I mean, first of all, when I start my diet, I'm already in decent condition. Yeah. But that's that kind of rule doesn't apply on everyone. Right. When you're very, very heavy and have a lot of visible fat, then aerobics is okay in, in moderation. You don't need to do one hour and a half, two hours. That's stupid. All you got to do is like, Look, I'm burning fat right now. We are burning fat. All you gotta do is 15 minutes for your heart. 15, 20 minutes. Sitting on a stupid treadmill. Look, I'm gonna say this, and I'm not gonna say who it is. Someone who's very well known. Very well known. Very, very well known. He was in unbelievable shape. I mean, mind boggling. One month before the Olympia. I looked at him one month before the Olympia. He was, oh my God, unbelievable. He looked like made of glass, etch. One month later, I look at him backstage. I swear, the guy looked like nothing. No muscle. No muscle. I mean, okay, just to make it shorter, he lost nearly 40 pounds of muscle. Wow. All right, then later, the guy was kind of moody. I didn't end up talking to him too much. <laughs> but I know something has gone wrong because one month earlier, oh my God, I was shocked. And I'm honest about it. I don't give a crap. And I tell him, I give him compliments. He deserves it. Later on, I find out this champion, I was getting up in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, with one hour on a treadmill, one hour stair master, because he's thinking... By doing that, I'm taking it more to the limit. I'm going to get more shredded. It backfired. It was completely the opposite. Wow. When you don't have fat to lose, why are you doing this stupid thing? Do it for your heart. Yes, it's okay. It's good for you. It is good for you. Aerobics is good for you. But don't abuse aerobics. Right. Because right now, you're burning, you're burning fat right at this minute. And if you want to do 15 minutes, that's fine. But really, what do you think? I think you should do it, yeah, I mean, it's more important to do it through the diet, you know, the diet is the most important thing, and that's yes. the key, so. Yeah, but I mean, what do you think, Say, I'm asking you now. Uh, I'm not a good person to ask because I'm the one that does one hour cardio. Really? I do 30 minutes. No, well, I, do, 30 I do a lot of cardio. You know, personally, I don't look, I'm not even fat today. <laughs> I think, I think my <laughs> even my abs are still okay today, but you know, I'm hairy. This is not yeah. bad, black hair. No, but you know, you practice, I practice what I preach. You know, and I'm really fortunate. I don't, I don't allow myself to get Hagen Dazs on me. I don't. And I eat good. I don't deprive myself. But you know what? Am I doing that treadmill every day? No. 
<laughs> I don't do it every day. Will I do it if I have to? If I went and I had a heart issue, whatever, the doctor said, yes, I would do a little bit. Mm. You know, eat right. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of misinformed people out there. And there's really, at times, we have information that is wrong. So I was always looking for the, the main reason for certain things. And recently I found out, for example, what do you think causes the artery to clog? Could you tell me what do you think? What's the cause of Huh? Plaque. What? Plaque. Cholesterol? Plaque. Plateau? No, plaque. he says plaque. plaque. Yeah. Plaque in the heart, yeah. I know, I know, but what causes that to happen? What food? Not enough blood flow going to the arteries? To no, no, no. I mean, what type of food do you think is going to clog your artery and that causes death? Probably sure. carbs. Hmm? Probably carbs. Uh, I'm sure it's That is not caused by saturated fat, believe it or not. Recent study, as of 2016, on 600,000 people, the cause of that kind of fat comes from high glycemic carbs. Uh -huh. Carbs. Which would be what, for example? Sugar. It's sugar. It really, sugar is the enemy. And this is what causes heart attack and clogging, and it's like, it's, it's crazy. And all along for the past hundred years, they've been telling us, don't eat this and don't eat eggs and don't do that. Yeah. There's a lot of mad, bad mistakes. There's yeah. a lot of bad, bad stuff. And you know, because what's sad is doctors don't have a degree in nutrition. On, in nutrition. And they tell you, and, and I kind of believe a lot of these things. But anyway, this is the, the daughter becoming daughter. nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> So really everything is important in the sport, whether you're training right, eating right, recovery, there's many, many areas. And trust me, I, I wouldn't doubt it. This gentleman right here have like my future, <laughs> you know, because I kind of look like that. And guess what? I wouldn't doubt it that you would get on stage and be a Mr. Olympia. But if you decide to, seriously, it's all up to you. But if you keep your eye on the ball, you'll catch it. Like, what's your goal? To lose some fat, right? Want to do that? A little bit. Trust Mostly me. Gain, gain strength. It's easy. Goal. It's so easy. It's so easy. But if the link between the mind and the body is not there, it will become more difficult. So when you're aware, like, oh, meal time, or what to eat, and you have the discipline, the willpower, say, you know what? I'm eating salad and yeah. piece of steak or piece of chicken fish and a small potato you know when you start doing that that's when you really and don't limit the calorie trust me on that just eat you want to eat eight ounces ten ounces steak with small potato do it or chicken and potato or sweet potato or a uh, little bit of rice if you train it with weight you need that carb of course yeah. i didn't answer your main question because yeah. i really believe in take in carb before the workout around workout time around the workout time you gotta have carbs and i don't care if you on the high fat diet you know high protein low carb diet you should take in small amount in 100 gram of carbs nothing you know probably the lowest even if you go on low low carb the lowest should be like 100 gram 50 before and 50 after training and that's it so it's nothing so it's not good to do it on an empty stomach then you the carb? <laughs> yeah. Eating carb on empty stomach? To, the, in the morning when you wake up, people go to the gym without eating anything, they work out. Oh, man. Well, that's I don't like the idea. Yeah. If you want to do aerobics when you first wake yeah. up, that's fine. Okay. But if you lift weights, weights. you got to kind of charge up slightly. I know, just no a little yeah. bit. I always yeah. believe in eating eat sufficient amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I have one meal two hours before the work, I'll still get a good pump. People have two cups of coffee and they go and they start weight oh, training. Man. I've seen that. I'm like, wow. Yeah, but if you want to train with weight, it's a big mistake. Yeah. It's a big no-no. If you want to go and run... You need a red line. Just, just drink a red line. <laughs> I know. It's no well, food. this is like fooling <laughs> yourself like this. Yeah. It's like the mind says, oh, I'm up and I can train now, yeah. but not really. You're not, you're not getting it done properly. Yeah. Right? You gotta put that oatmeal. You're gonna have like a cup, a half a cup, or whatever. You have some carb. Normally, what I would do when I wake up, I'll take five grams of glutamine first thing in the morning. I'd like to eat like a couple of wedges of melon. 
uh, cantaloupe because it's good for your intestine and keeping your body more alkaline and whatever. If you don't want to do that, have a half a grapefruit. Now keep in mind, some of the fruit that we eat, it couldn't be bad. It's not good for you. Not not good for your health, but it's not good for you if you really want to get rid of fat. Because about there's a part of the sugar in the fruit that's not cannot be stored as glycogen and it'll be converted to fat automatically. It's not even table sugar cannot can be stored as glycogen. But that type of sugar, I cannot tell you, it's not like glucose or sucrose or whatever. I cannot define it for you right now. But there is one small part, let's say 25 grams of carb in the banana, say about seven, eight grams of it is going to go right to fat. The other carb is okay. That's why bodybuilders, in most cases, limit fruit intake. And I think it should be done that way. But once you get in condition, then you can have some fruit because fruit is healthy in, 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 at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. What I found out, I think, is your body fat it determines a lot how much carbs and stuff ahead you can take. As yeah. you said, if you're lean before the show, you can play with carbs. Yeah, if you're in shape, more. then it's like yeah, you you're there. Yeah, you can a lot more carbs. Yeah. 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 Totally. Totally. Yeah. I noticed that when I put on quality mass, it's so much easier for me to get in shape. It's crazy. In off season, sometimes I neglect meal. Me and you know Mike Christian, mm-hmm, yeah. a friend of mine. Mike off season he looks small and smooth. But when the contest come, we eat more. And guess what? We grow and get harder. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's for sure. Going Building the muscle, the body composition is so much better and the fat disappear. And I did much better that way. I was saying earlier, I trained with Nubre, mm-hmm. and I didn't finish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Serge, he's in favor of high protein, high kind of fat, but I'm not a big eater at the time. And so I started with Serge at 205, in good shape. I ended up at 187. I won the best in the world competition, but honestly, I looked much worse. I didn't look better. I was looking better at 205. Mm. Say the the mistake was that Serge didn't rest in peace. He didn't give me a word. He didn't tell me at the time because I was a new kid on the block. So I didn't eat the sufficient amount of calorie to really keep me. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. So Serge would eat, and I know Berto Fox was hanging out with us. Berto would eat like a steak about this big, about two pounds. <laughs> and I'm not a big eater. I have a small. It's a little salad, so I wasn't eating enough. Yeah, yeah. So with high protein, low carb, you gotta increase your intake no matter what. You have to eat probably more food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it didn't really work really mm-hmm. good for me. But now I know exactly what yeah. needs to be done. You learn as we go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's, it's a trial and there. error. Yeah. Trial and error. Now you're telling everyone. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. But sometimes some people cannot eat a lot. You can increase your fat intake, like have like you get raw raw nuts and have like you know almonds for example, even macadamia nut, just to get the proper amount of fat. And if you feel scared a little bit, maybe use MCT, which is another source of fat that cannot be stored, and it is kind of muscle sparing. It works like carbs, kind of medium chain transistor. You know what is that, right? No. MCT is a fat that altered in it has about 8.5 or 8.6 calorie per gram and that's a good substitute too if you're scared of getting fat for example which you're not going to get fat but having like two three spoon of that that would give you another like four or five hundred calorie right yeah. and so without having to you know you will not get more hagen on your body okay.